Hi there! Today I'm going to talk about something that I know confuses a lot of people when they're just starting out with online marketing for their business and in particular with social media marketing and that is hashtags. Dun, dun, dun. Oh no, what are they? They're a bit scary. There's something else I don't quite understand and they seem to crop up and I don't know what to do with them, Julia. Well, let me put your mind at rest because hashtags are simply a way of labeling something. And they came into being, first of all, on Twitter. They were introduced literally as a way to help you sift through all the massive tweets that were being created and actually find tweets that were relevant to you or about a subject that you were interested in. And they were introduced in the days before Twitter search was available or was certainly as powerful as it is now. So hashtags were introduced, if you like, as a filing system, as a way of literally adding a tag onto a tweet so that if you were interested in whatever that tweet was about, you would easily be able to find it. So using a hashtag increased the visibility of your tweet or the content that you were sharing within it. Now, since that time, hashtags have become adopted by other social media platforms as well, notably Instagram, but you will also see them used on Facebook from time to time. And also, they have now been introduced on Pinterest, again, as a way to help you search for if you're the user or increase your visibility. Hashtags on Twitter are still very much in use and they are still a way of finding tweets that are relevant to you or indeed, again, raising your visibility on Twitter. Now, lots of studies have been done that show that if you include two or maybe three hashtags within your tweet, then you can actually increase the engagement or the response that you get to your tweet. But once you start going above two or three, then of course your tweet actually starts to become unreadable because you have fewer real words in that and lots of hashtags and no one's got the time to actually decipher with their eyes either on desktop or on a mobile what you're actually trying to say. It makes it visually unappealing. But maybe a couple of hashtags in there will help to boost your engagement and will help you get found even though you can actually type a word into Twitter search now and very easily be able to pick out relevant tweets. Hashtags still help with that. But where hashtags come to the fore on Twitter are a couple of things really. One is if you want to join in a Twitter chat and Twitter chats are conversations that go on on Twitter, <laughs> surprise, surprise, based on a particular subject. So you might join in a Twitter chat about marketing or you might join in a Twitter chat that's really about books. So you have almost like online book clubs taking place on Twitter through Twitter chats. And the way that people are able to find the other tweets that belong to that conversation that have been created as part of that conversation is by searching for the hashtag that has been adopted by that conversation. So around me here in Devon, there is a Twitter chat that takes place every Wednesday evening between 8 and 9 o'clock where all the tweets are labelled up with hashtag Devon Hour, single word. So if you go and search on Twitter search hashtag Devon Hour, you will find all the tweets back to when this Twitter chat first started, if you want to go that far, that have been shared that are related to this particular conversation. So if I want to go and join in this conversation at the allotted time, on Twitter, I can do so really easily by going and searching for those tweets with that hashtag and responding and replying to them, including that hashtag within my tweet. And joining in relevant Twitter chats for your business can be a great way to raise your visibility, to demonstrate what you're about, and by that I don't mean selling, I mean by sharing help and by being friendly and interactive and sharing other people's tweets. So joining in Twitter chats can be a great way to actually grow your business, ultimately. It can be a great way to network. The other way of taking advantage of hashtags on Twitter 
is to look for what a trending topic is on Twitter because very often they have a hashtag associated with them. And if there is a trending topic that's relevant to your business, now please don't force this because this just looks terrible. But if there's a trending topic that's relevant to your business or it's something generic like the weather, there was a hashtag that was all about British summertime not so long ago over the summer because the weather was just so awful. So lots of people were talking about it. Now, all of us as business owners within the UK and even outside of it could have used that hashtag actually to include within a tweet that was maybe a bit funny or was making a, it was something a little bit quirky with a view to getting us more visibility. We're being found by people who are outside of our usual audience with a view to our tweet being shared or at least people responding to it and becoming memorable. So again, we can use hashtags there to our advantage by searching for what's trending and using that hashtag within a tweet of ours. Similarly, if you're watching a programme on the TV at the time that it has actually been broadcast, and I know that's increasingly rare now, but if you're watching it along with a lot of other people because you're actually watching it at the time it's been broadcast, you'll find that very often there is a hashtag that goes along with that programme. For example, hashtag GBBO for Great British Bake Off. And if, say, your business is aligned with the subject of that programme, then you could be creating some tweets that talk about the programme in real time, but using that hashtag. And people who have been watching that programme and therefore might also be interested in your business are likely to pick up your tweets so you can raise visibility there. People also create hashtags just to add a bit more oomph or depth to the tweet that they are sharing. Maybe something like hashtag back to school problems or something like that. If you're talking um, from the perspective of mum and you're having to go out shoe shopping with your children, for example, and it's all fallen to bits. And I know from personal experience that that happens. Um, and that has happened to me quite a lot. So I might put a, a, a hashtag on there to be a bit funny and explain the context of my tweet a bit more. And that you will find is quite often what happens when people use hashtags on Facebook. Hashtags were introduced on Facebook, Facebook, Facebook as a way of finding posts, again, that were making them more searchable, so raising visibility or being able to find posts. They didn't really take off, to be honest with you. And actually, if you post hashtags now and you post more than a couple, then it, it can almost look a little bit spammy um, because then it almost looks as if you've taken something that should have been posted on Instagram where hashtags are the order of the day and shared them on Facebook. But where you can include hashtags on Facebook and definitely get away with it is if you create your own, again, your own funny hashtag by running a whole load of words together. So I could just have hashtag I love living in Devon or hashtag bring back the sun or hashtag who stole the sun or something, you know, something like that to add a bit more depth to what I'm actually sharing on my Facebook post. So they can be quite humorous or they can add an extra layer of depth. On Pinterest, they've just brought them out so that we can use them to search for pins or again to raise visibility of your own pin that you're pinning. So that's all good news. And on Instagram, absolutely you need to use hashtags this is the place where you absolutely need to use hashtags to raise visibility of your posts, to get them found by people who are searching for posts within that sector or that subject, if you like. And I don't want to give an in-depth tutorial on hashtags and Instagram here, but you can use up to 30 hashtags. You can either put them within the piece of text that you include within your post or within the comments. And the jury is out. There are some people that say you should definitely always put them in the comments because it makes your post neater. And other people will say, well, put them within the post, but maybe actually press the return button a few times so they come um, a few lines lower down so that you don't necessarily see them when you're reading the bulk of the post. Some people are worried that putting them in the comments might make Instagram look at you as a spammer but I haven't seen that yet myself. I always put mine in the comments and they still work perfectly well. The idea here is you've got 30 hashtags to use, so use as many of them as you can. 
and include a mixture of hashtags that are very, very commonly used and very much sought after, and also more specific niche hashtags that might be the terms that your people are searching for. And different people will give differing advice as to the ratios of those types of hashtags that you should use. But using those hashtags allows you to be found and sometimes will also get you onto the explore page for that particular hashtag. And obviously there's more chance of you hitting that explore page when you've got less competition. So when you're using a hashtag that not so many other people use, but that a fair number of people still search for. So if you start typing hashtags into your phone when you're putting your Instagram post up, you will see that Instagram will start to backfill with a, a hashtag that it knows and it will also give you the approximate number of searches against that hashtag. So use that as a guide when you're adding your hashtags on Instagram. So that's a rundown on hashtags. They are simply labels and ways of helping people search for content that's relevant to them. So use them in the way that suits the social media platform that you are using and they will really help to raise visibility for you and also to connect with exactly the right people for you. I really hope that this has been helpful. If you've got any questions, please let me know. I love answering questions. And also let me know if you've got any themes or subjects that you would like me to create a video on next time. But until the next video, I'm going to sign off. So it's goodbye from me for now. Bye.